My name is John Robbins. I'm 19 and live in La Quinta, California. Just a 10 minute drive from Palm Springs. Um, this isn't going to be an ordinary uh, YouTube video. I'm not going to be showing off about how good I am at doing something, showing something that's funny or sad or painful or just uploading something for the sheer amusement of it. No. This is something completely different. This is about something that's been prompting me for almost eight years now. Ever since I moved down here with my family from Fremont, California, which is about a 45 minute drive from San Francisco. Uh, we moved here in 01. Um, since moving, I've grown really depressed. Um, and I, have, I really have to thank my friend Manny for inspiring me to actually make this video. Um, it's something that I should have done a long time ago and I don't know why I haven't done it till now. I'm searching for a friend. A long lost friend. I knew him for several years when I lived at Mountain Vista Apartments in Fremont. He lived in a townhouse that was literally a 200 feet walk from the small apartment my family and I lived in. His name, David Chung. We attended the same school together, uh, Walters Junior High, for a short time. And um, often we would go to Durham Elementary and pick it up, picked up his little brother Steve with our friends. Uh, the twins, um, Tommy and Jimmy, I remember those two kids, they're great. Um, I remember when he taught me how to skate down a, a quarter pipe at the skate park we used to go to almost every day. Um, I remember one time, the day that I learned how, um, I made him laugh by dropping in, and I leaned too far forward, and, uh, and I sc scraped both my knees, and I leaned too far forward, and I ended up scraping the top of my helmet down on the pavement. It was the most funniest thing in the world to him, and it made him laugh, including with Jimmy and Tommy and his little brother Steve, they were all watching. And I remember he was he was so proud of me when I got it got it right. I remember showing him over and over. And I remember how we would hang around the apartment complex with our friends. We had about maybe six or seven friends that lived in the same apartment and we always hang out together until it got dark, until our parents called us in. I remember how we always used to sit in the living room in the house like every afternoon right before we go to the skate park and watching videos of rollerblading and that would always hype us up and we'd be always excited to go whenever. The thing that haunts me to this very day was when me and my family were going on a trip vacation to Washington and from there we went to Canada and then came back all in the span of two weeks and right before we left for vacation he told me he was moving and he told me he was moving the day that we were going to be back from vacation and I remember telling him you know I gave him my phone number and told him to call me whenever he was finished shoveling in I don't know when he was moving or what time he'd get there. I, and I remembered him telling me that he told me, he called me when he got there. He was moving around maybe a 45 minute drive from where I was living at the time. The moment we pulled back into our parking spot at the apartment complex, I remember running over to the ho townhouse that he was in, that he used to live in. 
He wasn't there. I remember running to the parking spot where his mom usually parked her car. And it wasn't there either. I remember asking one of my friends who lived there who knew him too. And he said they don't know when he left. And they were surprised that he left too. David, if you are up there, my friend, my brother, please contact me, whether it's YouTube, email, calling me by phone, or anything. I miss you. I miss our friendship. Can't compare it to the friendships that I have now. I can only imagine how much you've changed over the last seven or eight years. I miss you, David, and I hope we can meet again someday. If you're out there, and if you're watching this, I still think of you every day. I still think of the times we had together at school, at the skate park, at Mountain Vista in Fremont. I remember even the time when your mom took us to the skate park when you didn't feel like taking your brother with us. I just, I want to see you again, man. I miss you. Thanks, world, for watching. And David, I hope you're out there and you've watched this.